What's going on people? Welcome back to my parcel channel. Welcome back to another reaction video for you guys today. In this video, we are going to be reacting to Arsenal fans melting yet again. This time after a loss at home to Burnley, a team that is actually in worse form than them going into this match. And they still bottled it. They still fluffed their lines. It, it, it is their fourth home loss in a row. Their fourth loss in five league games. They're sitting in 15th place, five points off the relegation zone. And Mikel Arteta's red and white army is definitely shining bright all over London. I'm enjoying it. I didn't even expect this sort of L to happen. I thought Arsenal were actually going to get a win in this match and get a little bit of a confidence boost. But nah, the car crashed as Arsenal continues to cycle on and on. And yet again, this club continues to surprise me with how far they've fallen from grace. In. 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 Dash this chair, please. In. Let me dash this chair outside and I'll pay for whatever I break. No, you don't. Oh, Hey, I'm handing in my transfer rest in January. Confirmed, bro. BP 1-1 confirmed. Bro, I'm going to flip in. I'm going to lower it this rate. I'm going to flip in. I'm done. Burnley, you know. Burnley. Oh, well. Fuck this. Burnley. Like, really Burnley. Like, this was a genuine relegation dogfight and they lost it. A team that had scored less than even Arsenal had in the Premier League before this match. In fact, they had the joint least goals scored in the entirety of England and their top four leagues before this match. And even with 2,000 fans in the ground to support them, they still lost at home yet again. It's their fourth home loss in a row. And of course, you know, with a beautiful disaster comes an even more beautiful meltdown. My team's gone rough, I'm wondering why. I watched this team at all We just lost 1-0 to Burnley And I can't see at all Why did Jack have to get sent off? Couple hands on players throw Just reminds me that we are so bad We are so bad I tell you what guys, when this fan base crashes, it fucking burns to be fair, Wenger's probably conflicted right now. Stuck between the pain of his beloved Arsenal being five points off the relegation zone and the small vindication that he probably has of being right after all the years of Arsenal fans hounding him out. I can't lie, if I'm Arsene Wenger, I'm sipping my tea and I'm watching AFTV with a little smile on my face. Replace you with Emery, thinking we got Arsenal back, only to realise that Arsenal was you. Still suffering as a fan base, we don't know what to do. Looks like Arteta's the new target, the Cronkies will never change. It's been years and years and a lack of competence is still the same. We don't play good football anymore, it's sad and it's a shame. Knock down a relegation battle, Arsenal, I'm going insane. If this continues, we will never ever be the same. They might think this is lame, but honestly, this is nothing but pain. Been through it all, walked through the rain, handled the pain. Arson, I'm telling you, I can't go through this again. Yours sincerely, yours and Arsenal's biggest fan, Nibs. Aye, big up lives, like on a level that's my guy off the camera and everything like that. But seriously, bro, you need to see a therapist. Arsenal is doing some serious emotional damage to you. Like, this isn't even the first time this season where Arsenal have reduced you to this. Four league games in a row and we ain't won one. I'm thinking this is Arteta the plays, I'm feeling lonesome. Like, why the hell are we so grub at this level? Cause I'm tired of being tired of being tired. That part of me done died. Asking why Bellerin is in the side. He loves a far throw, is he? So proud, and the club feed us life. They yeah. tell us the process will take time, but I'm lives and I don't believe everything. Look in the squad, and I see Jacka holding on. Any Mustafi Bellerin, I'm guessing it's getting enough now. We signed a retired Willie and on the floor above now. How can we move forward as a club? I'm having big doubts. <gasps> Wait, did anyone else hear that grunt at the end? Ah, that sounded like DT saw Arsenal concede again. Tell you what, if there's one thing I rate out of all of this, it's how quickly he's made these lyrics straight after the game. If I can give him one thing, he's proper creative. You gotta give him credit for that. One day we gon' compete. 
One day we go win the league. Wait, what? One day we go win the Champions League. Now, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Man said Champions League. Now we gotta take this back a little bit. You said Champions League. Bro, you gotta take baby steps. Right now, you're not even looking at the Europa League places. Right now, you're not even looking at the places for the newly opened Europa Conference League that's gonna be opening next season. Take baby steps, bro. Or, after you guys said after beating Manchester United. <laughs> they got so gassed after that last win. Yeah? Where are you, my lad? 15th, 16th. <laughs> Wait, what? These men literally wake up every weekend praying West Brom, Fulham, Sheffield United lose. Nah, troops, I can't lie, bro. As a mate, this is a massive L. Yo, the three clubs that you just named, I think you're now 10 times closer to them than Manchester United are. You're about five points closer to Fulham and you labelled them out as well. Bro, this one is peak. You fucking bunch of little bitches. You got no fucking balls, no backbone, no spine, no pride. You got nothing. You ain't men, you're pussies. Ah. Bitch asses. Look at you. You fucking embarrassment. The fucking lot of you. You fucking. You make me sick. You make me physically sick. The lot of you. The board. The players. The whole of you. You make me sick. Hey, you lot remember Mikel Arteca's? Mikel Arteca's blood. Put respect on his name, blood. Yeah? Pep. Smoke. Lampard. Smoke. Clock. Two times, smoke. Bring Ole with his fucking bus now. Yeah? Bring Ole, free smoke, dog. Free blood clot smoke for under this year. Yeah? Look what he's doing. Dog. One long, angry line later. Sack his claw at full time. Yeah? <laughs> Sack him. Sack him. Enough is enough. Arteta out. Now. Not, not Monday. Now. Now. Now, now, bro. Now, bro. This is fucking embarrassing. Embarrassing. Anyone who's still Arteta in, you don't give a fuck about Arsenal. You don't care. You have no sense. Your mum dropped you on your head as a baby 10 times, blood. Not just once. 10 fucking times. That bitch dropped you, picked you up, dropped you, picked you up, dropped you, picked you up. Dropped you, picked you up, dropped you. Look at him. He's out of his fucking depth, mate. Yeah? He's out of his fucking depth, mate. Arteta out now. Nah, big up troops, but like, honestly, on a level, I do disagree. I think the Arsenal board, Mikel Arteta and the players combined, they're all what is needed to take Arsenal forward. Remember, this is the team that won two trophies in a month. Who will prove to be the better manager, Arteta or Lampard? We're going to start, oh, start over this side, BT. Um, Mikel Arteta, because Frank Lampard took Derby from 4th to 4th and Chelsea from 3rd to 4th. Just like that! Hmm. Lampard took Chelsea from 3rd to 4th. Are we going to ignore the context with the transfer ban and Eden Hazard leaving and a bunch of injuries throughout the season? Okay, cool. We can forget about context. Let's, let's ignore that. Uh, let's talk about Mikel Arteta then taking Arsenal from 5th place under Emery to 8th place. And then also taking them from 8th place to now 15th place and 5 points off the relegation zone. That was quick! And that was quick! Troops? Blood. Where, where Arteta is coming from, blood. Pep Guardiola, fam, you understand? One of the greatest managers of all time, blood. We have seen how Man City have been since that man has left Man City, blood. They do not look that force anymore, blood. We look like we are becoming how we should be, blood. People, Pep, like, come on. People, people are, people are worried about us now. Fucking hell. Losing 1-0 at home. I'm sick of it. I'm set up. I've defended you. 
But you've got to go! <laughs> I'm just imagining someone walking their dog home and seeing this guy inside of his car just screaming at the top of his lungs because his team's just been done over 1 0 by Burnley at home. <laughs> this club is comical, man. There's the door! Tala! Honestly, Zeka! Go! Lee! Look what you're doing to me! I'm sick of me! We're losing 1 0, we're passing it around the back! Aubameyang, we sacked 50 staff to pay for your new contract and what do you do? Nothing! But the plane just ain't on you! Arteta, you have got to go! Oop, another Arteta out one. I backed ya, I backed ya till the cows come home, but now is enough! Five points off the relegation zone! Losing to Burnley! Burnley! Hey, come on now, give Burnley some respect. You guys are very similar. You both are bottom of the table, struggling around the relegation zone, struggling to score goals. Well, not so much Burnley now, but we move. Eliminated by Olympiacos in the Europa League. You guys would honestly get along really well with each other. Take it, team. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. I have had enough. I've had it up to here. He's got to go. Shaka, you've got to go. I'm absolutely sick of this club. I'm done. Finished. Hey, don't worry, man. We hate Arsenal too. Come join the club. Nah, but on a level, you guys know this is only jokes. This isn't anything personal. I've been meaning to drop more videos like this on my personal channel because I'm a lot more in my element when it comes to mugging off other clubs. And this has been a ch heavy Chelsea-orientated channel, but I wanted to try branch out a little bit more. So if you guys do enjoy content like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, hit that like button and that subscribe button if you guys are feeling generous. There'll be more things you've touched and Aubameyang's had goals this season so more the more reason for you to press those buttons also hit the bell notification button as well if you want to be the first guy to know whenever we release any new content and other than that guys take care and we will see you guys next week up the chill